Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dirty back here with another reaction video. We finna watch Danny Duncan. The Danny Duncan situation got more complicated. Let's get straight into this bitch. Word. By my son Patrick, I think McCall? No, just Patrick CC. Word. Let's get straight into this bitch. And he's Word. just punching, I mean, twice. He's just like, bam, bam. Always made fun of something. He always had to make, he always had to put me down about something. Everyone was around me, saw. And no one cared. It just makes me sick talking about this. When I was in the bathroom, I asked him for a favor. Next thing you know, he put a knife right to my throat. <laughs> Danny Duncan's ex-employee just tried to cancel him. But then Danny hit us with the Uno reverse card. Things are getting interesting now. I was never putting him down. I was literally just trying to help him. I didn't take his money. I told him to take the 20% and invest in the stocks. I've never violently hit Aaron in a mean way where I'm trying to like knock him out or something. I, th I think I'm good at like starting drama. That's when I focus on starting drama. I think like, I like doing drama. Danny Duncan is a 29-year-old wildly successful YouTuber with millions of fans and millions of dollars. He's known for his I don't give a f attitude, f***ing shit up, making noise, having fun, and pushing the limits. He keeps a team of interesting characters around him, just like Mr. Beast, nice. David Dobrik, early Jake Paul era. It's like building the cast of a TV show. But Danny's have always been unique individuals. Sometimes just ordinary people. few of his videos, but this nigga got no chill, bro. Not just a bunch wild. of other aspiring influencers. Sunhat Kid, real name Aaron Hall, is a 25-year-old content creator from Ohio who moved to LA in 2016 hoping to make it as a YouTuber. In his early career, he would basically skateboard around LA and see what kind of nonsense he can get into. Pranks, stunts, anything potentially shocking for views. It was almost exactly what Danny was doing at that time but to be blunt oh, what the it was fuck? for views it was almost exactly what danny Sugar was doing at that time naked, but to bro. be blunt it wasn't as good by a stroke of luck aaron just kind of bumped into danny in la and i guess they hit it off danny then started to introduce him into the vlog and eventually he became a regular character but in order to become a regular he had to sign a contract he was like asked me want to be part of my team like sure you know so danny duncan basically had his employee on a contract and he was just doing dickhead shit to him that's why I'm getting out of this shit so far. He's like, okay, but I'm gonna put you on a contract. I'm like, okay, sure. What's the contract gonna say? How long? He says, 10 years. Now I'm not surprised that Danny makes the cast of his blog sign contracts. After all, he has a lot to offer and they can make a career out of that. But 10 years is a long ass contract. I don't think that Sun Hat Kid is lying about it either since Danny made a response video and never addressed that directly. Aaron said the other stipulations of the contract was that Danny would take 20% of Aaron's money wait, wait, and he's not surprised that Danny makes the cast contract gonna say how long? He okay. says 10 years. Ten now I'm not surprised that Danny makes the years. cast of his blog sign contracts. After all, he has a lot to offer and they can make a career out of that. But 10 years is a long ass contract. I don't think that Sun Hat Kid nah, is lying about it crazy. either since Danny like made a response video well, and never like addressed some, that directly. Some NBA players don't even have 10 year contracts. Nigga, they be having one, two here, three there, five, per, maybe. Like, 10 is crazy. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie, Aaron said world. the other stipulations of the contract was that Danny would take 20% of Aaron's money and he could not collaborate with other content creators. I'm giving him 20% of my earnings. I didn't take his money. I told him to take the 20% and invest in the stocks. I had him download like a, a Robinhood or an app like that. I told him to buy Apple stocks. I told him, I even told him if he lost any money in Apple that I would give him the money back. But if I, you lose any money on Apple, I'll give it back to you. No, that's fine. I mean, no, I won't lose money. Hopefully not. I won't lose money. You will not lose money. So instead of taking Aaron's 20%, he just told him to invest in and told him what to invest in which is something very few employers will do. In That's my facts. opinion, that exemplifies a, a great leader and a great boss. And next thing you know, he starts just punching at me out of nowhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That, 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 that's not making sense now. Is it like a different clip or is it like, is this like all together? Because now you was just saying about the money shit that you just say he started punching on, you, punching on you out of nowhere. Cause he told you to invest in some Apple stocks. Hold on. Out of, I'm like at this point, I'm like, what is going on now? I was so shocked. All, all I felt was a, all I saw was a big flash, like a big light, and he's just punching at me twice. He's just like, bam, bam. And then those other people were downstairs, and at that time, like, what is going on? Did, did anyone just see me just get, like, I at least got punched multiple times for no reason. No one said anything. Now on numerous occasions, borderline every Danny oh, Duncan vlog, you will nah. get some sort of physical altercation. Borderline every Danny Duncan vlog. No one nah. said anything. Now on numerous hat? occasions, Oh, is that that nigga in the hat? 
Or I think that's borderline the every Danny Duncan vlog. Well, you will peace. get some sort of physical altercation. A lot of the time, it's between Danny and his friends. It's kind of just like rough housing. What friends do? They all f around and beat each other up. And you could tell that it's all play. But I wouldn't be surprised if every now and again it went too far. We've all had that moment where you and your friends are slapping each other around, and one person actually fight. gets hurt and wants to fight for real. Like we tease with each other, we have fun, and. And that's fine with me. I don't care about teasing. I don't care about that stuff. You know, it's all just fun and games and we wrestle sometimes. And, you know, and sometimes it gets a little annoying. And, you know, like, like, ah, oh, come on, man. I don't want to be a teaser now. But it got more than that. So Aaron says Danny would hit him beyond just playing around. Hey, and Danny denies that. I've wrestled with Aaron like we choke each other. That's yeah. what happens. I've never violently hit Aaron in a mean way where I'm trying to like knock him out or something. It just, I've never done it. I never f***ing struck him in the face. Like, no, no, you know what I mean? It's the only thing we ever did was just friendship. F***ing around with each other, that's it. But also Danny provides clips of Aaron oh, taking it too far in the vlogs. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, hey! Far in the vlogs. Hey, hey. So Danny provides no, clips of Aaron taking it too Where's far the in the vlogs. Nigga, I see no water anywhere else, but I see water splashing right here. But it's like they just on some grass. Am I bugging or am I bugging? Come on now, am I bugging or am I bugging? Bugs. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, this nigga just trying to knee him in a oh, bug. Oh, hey! hey. Nah, Obviously, he's Aaron's choked Nick. This nigga oh, oh, oh my god! Nah, he's wildin'. He's, he's wildin'. drowning him, dude. <laughs> this nigga is dead. trying to get away. Oh, this nigga. <laughs> So maybe we can assume that both of them have taken things yeah, too far at different them, times. But things got more worse. So there's a time when we're in Florida, we're at Tractor Supply. He was, he was trying to get content. I was like, okay, I, I can lay on the ground and you can skate over me. I lay on the ground. And I remember I, I, I sat up and I was like, hey, I, I can give you advice how to like land it. Because I, I, he kept hitting me with the board. Then I gave him some advice on how to land it. And then he kicked me in the head. And he said, why are you talking? So I remember when he kicked me in the head, I was so shocked right there because everyone was around me saw and no one cared. Now, Danny didn't respond to this directly. He just showed a clip of Aaron pressing his foot on someone else's head. No, come on, that's fucked up, dude. So we don't know if Danny actually pressing his foot on someone else's head. Oh, see, no. see you're just being a hypocrite then, bro. You're just being a hypocrite. If you don't like, if don't, if you don't like the shit that's gonna be done to you, don't do it. You feel me? It's like it does it, and then when it get does to him, it's like I want to be snitching now. Like, my nigga, he has full proof of you. Respond just to this directly. Head. He just showed a clip of Aaron pressing his foot on someone else's head. No, come on, that's fucked up, dude. So we don't know if Danny actually kicked Aaron in the head or if this situation went down exactly the way that Aaron said it because Danny didn't even really address it. But it can be hard to feel bad or believe someone claiming to be a victim when they have done that exact same exactly. thing. And some people might also say, well, Aaron's behavior is a reflection of Danny's behavior. And Danny is his boss with a superiority complex, like a taking advantage of his employees since a lot of the oh, times nah, they have nothing to fall wild. back on. And that may be a decent argument. Wild. But at the end of the day, yeah. any Sometimes something gets brought to the internet, it gets a little fishy and a little clout chasey. I'm not just making this video to, to try to expose Danny. What would that do for me? Exposing Danny, what would that do for me? Well, you do have a lot to gain. The video's monetized, so you made money on that. It's your biggest video. You gained 40,000 subscribers. Nigga. The video's. What would that do for me? Exposing what Danny. For you, what would that do for you? If I'm not mistaken, he pulled up the video, video earlier before Patrick started the video. He pulled it up and it said 1.7 mil. That's probably your most viewed probably video. Well, you have to gain, nigga. You well, you do have a lot to gain. That, the video's bro. monetized, so you made money on that. It's your biggest video. Don't you gained 40,000 subscribers, and you're selling the hood. 40K, nigga, and expand probably like a day? Son, that you are wearing in the video it's linked in the description so then when you're digesting all of this you start to kind of ask yourself a lot of questions how much did aaron try to get out of his contract did he say all of the things that he said in the video to danny off camera there was a, there was a part where That's i was too. in his bathroom and i asked him for a favor and then he um when i was like in his i was like is i, I don't know it just makes me sick talking about this. When I was in the bathroom, I asked him for a favor. Next thing you know, he put a knife right to my throat. <laughs> he put a knife right to my throat. Um, I was very confused right there. I was scared. I was scared for my life right there. Now that's a pretty big accusation. Nah, Holding bro, a knife to someone. You can't lie. You can't see. If you're lying about this, bro, you, you can't do that, my nigga. But if you actually did it, bro, okay. But my nigga, 
This is, this is something big you say, my nigga. It's, it's, it's nothing so little, bro. This One's throat. It's probably a felon, but Danny you know, denies it. it. Sounds like a porno, like intro. I was against a wall in his bathroom, just me and him. <laughs> but yeah, I never pulled a knife on him. And some people think it's a pretty fishy story because why would you ask someone for a favor in the bathroom? Word. He also didn't give any context of the story or See, why it even happened, led to bro. Danny holding a knife to his throat. And then he made sure to put that it was just them two alone in the bathroom as a subtitle. So it's really just one person's word against another at that point imagine you keep punching a dog in a face the one time you know you go pet the dog and it flinches because that dog got so scared that you're gonna punch him in the face that's what i feel like with danny like he punched me so many times almost every time don't I punch the nigga back what the fuck my nigga this nigga's a bitch bro. he comes to me and about to, about to put his hands at me i flinch because I feel like he's going to punch me or something. Aaron does flinch all the time. And he always looks sort of distraught in the videos. Now, we will never know how much of this is acting or playing a character. Because his job is to be a character in the vlogs. But nonetheless, he is kind of the punching bag of the group. He's always being picked on and bullied. I mean, he got mostly famous in the vlogs for being Aaron the baby. I'm not a baby, dude, at all. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely are, dude. If he does it, I'll give him $5,000. And if he doesn't, he has to walk around with us all day, just like the baby he is, dressed in a diaper, a binky, and in the car, he has to sit in a car seat. All the comments on his videos were something about him being a baby, and it became this really big joke on the internet and in the videos. I know I would definitely be really annoyed at that and would probably stop that as soon as I could. But then again, he made merch out of it and was selling it. Bro, this thing is like a fucking hypocrite, bro. I'm tired it's of this. So, thing, how much did it really bother him? But the more I look at this situation, the more it seems like the line between joking around his friends and getting content for a vlog is Sorry. a little bit blurred. David Dobrik had a similar problem, but in a much worse situation. It seems like Danny and his team don't have a line between what's just a joke and where it goes too far. Because what Aaron is saying is abusive and manipulative, nah, Danny is saying it's just harmless messing around, physically and verbally. It wasn't just the hitting that he did, but it was also the, the, the verbal abuse he did to me. Some of it was funny, some of it's like on camera even, like causing an idiot. He's always making fun of me about, about things about myself, about how, how I am and how I, you know, even about my teeth, how my teeth are messed up. He always made fun of something. He always had to make, he always had to put me down about something. Again, the line of what's a joke and what isn't doesn't really seem to be clear, which as you can imagine is causing a lot of problems. But the big thing that Danny put in his response video is what's making all of Aaron's arguments really weak. Hold on, Aaron requests to meet Danny unhappy with not being in his videos anymore. This is just one of three meetings that took place. I mean, he's- I figure out how to like, what, what's, what's next? Like, what do I do? You just make your own videos, do good shit. I gotta play smart. I gotta play a game. I gotta play the, I gotta play the LA game, I guess, for a little bit. I just gotta do it. I what's the LA game? But what everyone else does. I mean, to be honest, I might be on, like, I don't know. I, th I think I'm good at like starting drama. That's when I focus on starting drama. I think like, I like doing drama. Starting beefs? Yeah, starting beefs. I, I, I've been doing that for a long time, from the beginning. I'm gonna go back to that. It's calm for a while. I have no, I don't have a filter. I, I will say anything. Say so you definitely want to. This nigga got caught in 4,000K, nigga. 4,000K, nigga. I'm telling you, bro. This motherfucker. This motherfucker right here. Yo. No, I'm good at it though. I just one thing I'm good at. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I, I don't have a filter. I will see anything online. That's the thing. I don't care. I will talk about gay so I don't, I don't... See, he don't care, bro. See, you could... This is making him... This is making him look like a dumbass. It's ba basically, he's saying, bro, he could say anything on... Bro, this sicker is fucking lying. Bro, this right here... It's, say, it's basically trying to say everything that this sicker Aaron is saying right now. That he was saying earlier about Danny. It's cap. But you just say you would say anything on the internet. Okay, I don't want to filter. Dude, it's not good. Dude, that's gonna do it. I have to. Well, I'm just not gonna grow. I'm like, my views are crap. Oh, I mean, gotta do I gotta make money, man. So, what's, so what, what do you think I should do? Make good videos. But all I'm hearing right now is that I gotta do whatever it takes to make it. And that's what I'm gonna do, I guess. Whatever it takes. Yeah, make sure whatever you pay, pay back the, the pot, what is it, the pot's on the apartment? Whatever it takes. <sighs> 
When you say something like, like that, man, you just shoot yourself in the foot. That's you basically just said, I'm good at making shit up and I know that I can get views from it. It's super hard to give Aaron the benefit of the doubt That's what I'm saying. and to believe his accusations. He just got, F no. he just got caught in 4,000K. I'm gonna say it again, 4,000K, nigga. 4,000K, nigga. Knowing that he, you know, makes up drama. To me, I wouldn't be surprised if Danny was a bit over aggressive at times. That's the line nice, between nice joking also. and serious, whether it's physically and verbally, I think needs to be more clearly established within his team. I'm sure he's crossed that line with numerous people. And most of the time, when it comes to your friends or family, you can work it out. But when it comes to something that you're profiting off of and your business is sort of shaped around it, that's when things get a little bit more serious, especially when it's very successful and you're making a lot of money doing it. However, I do think Danny cares about his people. He gives them a lot and he's done so much good for his friends, family, and community. Despite having the fuck shit up and I don't care attitude, he really does go out of his way to give his fans information about being successful, investing, and taking care of themselves. And I'm not sure how much acting and playing a character Aaron is doing. To be blunt, I always thought this kid was kind of dumb, like an innocent <laughs> dumb kid. But it could all be a facade that they set up to make Danny's vlogs more entertaining and interesting. I don't really know. But with Aaron's awesome. comments about being able to make up drama for views, nah, it becomes yeah. really difficult to believe anything. That's what I'm saying. Nah, anything that comes out of his mouth, nobody's going to believe, bro. You, he shitted with that clip. It's over. Like, you'd rather just delete that 1.7 mil video, my nigga. I'm telling you, bro. Like, you just got, bro. Whatever you say, nobody's going to believe. But W video, Patrick, bro. That's it for the video. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Like I always say, 13th way or no way. You dig? Word.